Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sam with Rococo and I'm so excited to introduce you all to the Motion Library now in Rococo Studio. The Motion Library is the world's largest marketplace for motion capture assets and now you can access it directly inside of Rococo Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the interface for Motion Library. We'll download an asset and then we'll import that motion capture asset into some 3D software. Okay, let's jump into it. So the first thing you'll need to do to access Motion Library is to download Rococo Studio for free. So you can do that by going to our website, www.rococo.com, navigate over to the Products and Studio page. Once you're here, you can just go to Download Studio and then download it for either Mac or Windows, depending on what you're on. So once you've downloaded Rococo Studio and installed it and opened it up, you'll find yourself on this page, and this is the dashboard. So you can access the Motion Library by going up to the top left corner here and clicking on this button, and that will take you directly into the Motion Library. So these are all the different motion capture assets that are available. As you can see, there's many, many, many of them. Um, you can hover over an asset and it will load a little preview that you can click and drag on and you can rotate around the asset to get a better idea of uh, what's going on in there. We also have a bunch of different ways for you to organize the assets. Um, you can organize them by the most recent asset that's been uploaded. You can also organize them alphabetically. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, and you can also organize them by price. So this is a good way to locate uh, free demo assets that are on here, um, of which there are a bunch, and I recommend you go and check them out. There's some really, really high quality ones. You can also adjust the UI here and make it smaller or larger, depending on your screen and your setup. And then finally, if you click this Filters tab right here, you can access all the different categories that you can organize the assets by. Um, and as we uh, keep growing the motion library, there will be more and more uh, categories and ways to organize these assets. So if we take a look at some of the buttons up here at the top, uh, just going left from right, this button right here will always return you to the main page. If you click Categories, you can see all the different categories that you can organize the assets by. If we click Fashion, we can see some good ones here, like this Catwalk with Turn. Pretty good. You can also organize by Publisher. And um, if you have a publisher that you like, this is a great way to get to their page. Um, in the middle here, we have just a search bar. So if you have a keyword that you want to search the library uh, with, you can just put that in. So if we just type in walk, check out this one, the walk cycle. Here's another one, balancing walk. And one of the great things about the motion library is we have so much different variety. Uh, so you can really find the exact type of asset that you're looking for. If we keep going here, we have your shopping cart, which is currently empty. And then we also have this button here with this little figure. And if we click this, we come in and we, this is the preview characters page. So we intend to add more characters here. But basically, if you click on Bruno and then go back to the motion library, now all of the assets are being previewed with uh, this mesh on them. So this can be really useful when you're trying to figure out if a certain asset is going to work with, uh, you know, a different sized character or something. We'll go back to Newton for now. And then the final button is My Team's Library. This is your library. And so I've already, uh, this is a demo asset I've already uh, downloaded before. But this is where all of your different assets that you've bought or um, you know, downloaded will appear. So this, this is your kind of library of all your owned assets. So now that we've got a lay of the land, let's go back and let's actually download an asset and uh, walk through that process. For this demonstration, we're just going to grab a uh, free demo asset. And so uh, one way we could do this is just by organize by price, uh, which we've done here. And you can go through and see all the different demo assets that the different publishers have put out there. 
Um, some of them are really unique and useful, so I recommend checking them all out. Like this swinging on a rope asset is really, that's a unique animation. We actually partnered with Super Alloy Interactive to create a pack of 50 free motion capture assets. So if you navigate to their publisher page, uh, you can find this pack of 50 free assets that can be used in, um, you know, in a game or in a previs or really for whatever you might need them for. So let's um, let's grab a couple of these. So how about we grab this navigation com, uh, navcom run two? Let's grab that. And if we click this button here, you can see it was added to our cart. Let's grab this taunting opponent and. Um, how about this attack saber jump? So if we go up to our cart now, we can see that we have these three assets uh, in our cart. And because they're all $0 and they're all you know free, um, I can just go ahead and, and confirm this order and get them right now. But let's go add an asset that we would actually have to purchase. Um, let's organize by name. And here we go. Let's, let's throw this guy in here too. So now that you know we've got an asset that you would actually have to buy and we go to our cart, you'll be prompted to top up your balance. So if you click this button, you'll be taken to our website and you'll just add some funds to a wallet and then you can come back and uh, download your assets and, and that's how that process will work. Um, for now, we're just gonna X out of that and um, because these are all zero dollars, we can just hit confirm the order and check out. Boom, purchase successful. So now we can go to my library and again, that's just this button over here, my team's library. And now you can see that we have uh, all of our assets in our, in our little library here. So if we wanted to now download these assets to use um, you know, in, a, in a game or, or in, a, in a 3D application, um, we just wanna import them now. So if I double click on an asset, it will actually jump into an expanded view um, where I get a few more options. So I can pause it, the animation and I can scrub through it at my own pace, um, which is good to inspect assets. Um, if I move around a lot and I get kind of zoomed out, I can use this button to uh, reset my position back to the origin. I can also speed up or slow down the playback of this asset. So if we want to slow it down 50%, there we go. And then we also have some general information about the asset up here. So if we want to get this asset into, um, you know, actually download it, what we can do is hit import. And when you click this, you'll be prompted to add the asset into a project that you have open within Rococo Studio. So if, what I've done in, in my dashboard is I've gone in here and I've just created a new project and I've called it Motion Library Assets. And so now when I'm importing, I can just import this asset directly into that project. And there'll be a little animation here of the asset downloading. And now if we go into our motion library assets, you can see that our asset is right here. So right now you cannot open it up in Rococo Studio, um, but this is just a place that you can find all of your assets. And, uh, and, and that functionality will be coming soon where you, you'll be able to, to open it up and actually preview it. For now, it has downloaded this asset into um, your Rococo Studio folder that's usually on a PC uh, located in the documents. But if you wanna find this asset and where it is, you can just right click it and then you can go open folder. And as you can see, it's in here, it's, it's down in my documents. Um, but here's the asset, and this is just an FBX that I can then add into um, any sort of 3D program. If we start up Cinema 4D and we throw that asset in here, you can see that we just have a basic FBX, and there we go, there's our animation. So what you are downloading from Motion Library is just an FBX that can be used in you know, any, any sort of 3D application that, that you wanna use it in. So if we wanted to download a bunch of these at the same time, we could just select a few of them and then click import three selected assets. You know, we can import them all into that project. You'll see a little whoop, 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 animation. 
of them downloading. And now if we go back into our project, we can see our other assets are here. And if we go into the folder, here are the assets again. So we hope this tutorial was helpful. We are really excited about the Motion Library. Um, we've had it for a little while, but it's never been accessible in this way before. And um, we're just really excited for people to get their hands on it and uh, start having some fun and, and downloading some really, really high quality assets. Um, again, one of the best parts about the Motion Library is that you can find pretty much anything that you can imagine. And um, it's all, all of this motion capture is being made by uh, AAA publishers and, and really, um, you know, incredible stunt performers and, and top of the line uh, actors. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below or always feel free to reach out directly to support at rococo.com. Our awesome support team uh, is standing by to help you guys out. And um, you can also find documentation um, if you head up here and you click documentation, this will take you to, um, you know, all of the um, things that, that might help you out if you get stuck. Again, we hope this tutorial was helpful and uh, please stay tuned for more Motion Library updates coming out soon. Thank you and bye bye.